Avatar, creating the legend. My name is Benjamin Wynn, and I do sound design. We get given uh, an episode with nothing but dialogue. There's no music, there's no sound. I had all the winds, all the wishes, all the, all the crazy magical sounds. My name is Jeff Kettle, and I'm the Foley engineer for Avatar. Foley in production, sound is divided up usually between Foley and sound effects, and Foley is pretty much anything we can record in a studio. So any sort of hand contact, footsteps, small props, anything like that that needs to be recorded, we do that. As far as creating sounds with Foley, Usually I leave that up to the Foley artist, who in this case is Sana. For Appa, what I did, I got plungers and I put duct tape over them to mute the sound. He's huge, so I just tried to give him a little something to help him like this. When I do Ang's footsteps, I put socks so he sounds kind of like small, he doesn't sound so big. And I just walk him on here. For the Fire Nation's big ships, I get a piece of metal that's kind of hollow as opposed to really hard metal. And I put it against the carpet and I elevate it to get the, a big boominess for it. I try to go with like a heavier kind of shoe and I just walk it real hard. So this is a scene uh, that I'll show you how it's given to me and then we'll show you when, when I'm done with it, how I give it back to Mike and Brian. Look, that's gotta be Aang! Yep, yep. And then simultaneously, my partner's working on music. And uh, when we combine the two, this is how it sounds. Look, that's gotta be A. Yep, yep. Foley is important in a show like Avatar because they tend to create a real realistic environment. For the bushes, depending what kind of bush it is, if it's a little bush, I use this. Like if they're touching it, just falling or anything. All right, let's do a track for Appa's tongue lick. Okay, here we go. Ah, easy! enough attention. <laughs> that sounded great. Nice and gooey. The way we started Avatar, we had to go about creating a lot of the sounds ourselves. So for fire, we used a lot of our voice. We used, you know, we just basically processed our voice, fire-like sounds. And um, for air, we did the same thing. So here we have the source sound of our voice, you know, doing the explosion. Take them into programs and use something called like granular synthesis and sort of make it into a much much bigger texture. <laughs> this I've used all over actually for like um, engines starting stopping for ropes. So here we have the lips being used as the rope sounds um, as it's being lowered down. This we used um, for a lot of magical sounds. Ah! Come back! In the Blue Spirit, we were asked to do something slightly different with feet movement in that when Ang was running up the hill, it was kind of at an accelerated pace that was a little bit beyond reality and a little bit faster than we can normally walk. So in an instance like that, we'll have Sauna walk footsteps at a close rate to what's being showed on the screen, and then once again hand it off to the effect guy, Ben, so he can manipulate that. When I took what Foley gave me, their footsteps, which is right here, and use the envelope from that with some wishes and some rum more rumbles. There's a character called Ko that they want us to create some sort of sound for. Okay, so what are we doing? So this is for Ko. We should probably do a couple tracks of sounds for him. 
then it was my responsibility to make them sound um, like there was hundreds of legs. Welcome. I've sort of placed them in space and I've made them a lot more numerous. Thank you. My old friend, the Avatar. I'd say my most difficult episode was probably the finale, the Siege of the North. It was a culmination of everything the show had taken on before, all the sound design elements from unrealistic, you know, and scary to the huge battles where everything needs to sound incredibly intense. Sound design is one of those sort of backstage arts that if it's doing a really good job, most people don't notice. However, if you were to take it away, it's, it's devastating. Check out Avatar, only on Nickelodeon. Go ahead and subscribe for Avatar videos if you haven't already. 